Hi, my name is Ernest Taljic. I'm a data center architect with Presidio Network Solutions. In this demo, I'm going to demonstrate how to use EMC AppSync with Microsoft Exchange 2010 DAG to create application consistent bookmarks in RecoverPoint CLR. Before we look at the AppSync application, let's take a look at the lab configuration. We have two Exchange 2010 DAG VMs, DAG1 and DAG2. Each VM is configured with its own physical RDM devices. This is the uh, database LUN and this is the log LUN on DAG1 and the same setup is on DAG2 with its own unique physical RDM devices. If we go into the DAG server, we see the ENL drive, database and log drive, and the exchange management console shows two databases, MBX1 and MBX2. The same configuration can be found on DAG2. And notice that the uh, database um, that the databases are actually mounted on the DAG2 server. So now let's take a look at Recover Point and how that's configured. We have the two consistency groups, DAG1 CLR and DAG2 CLR. Each consistency group has a CDP and a CRR copy and each consistency group has a database and a loglon. The same thing applies to DAG2 CLR. You have to configure this in advance before configuring AppSync. So now let's go into AppSync and let's take a look how this is configured. So first thing that we would have to do is we have to go to settings resources and disc uh, add the two DAG servers. Once you perform the add within AppSync, the software will be pushed from the AppSync server to the DAG servers and automatically installed. Once that's done, you add the VMDR VM. In, in, in this case, this is the VM that I'm using to mount uh, the CRR images, application consistent images. Now, since this is a CLR consistency group, you can mount a CDP or CRR image. In this case, in this demo, I'm only going to illustrate the, uh, the CRR piece. So now, once that is configured, you have to go into Applications, Microsoft Exchange. You'll see a DAG mailbox server here. You have to add, you have to configure AppSync Exchange interface on the DAG server. Once you configure that, you have to do the same thing for the mount server, where you're going to be mounting the CRR images. In addition to what's configured in Recover Point, you also have to add the CRR target LUNs as RDM physical devices to the mount VM. To configure that, we'll go into DR Virtual Center. This is my mount VM on the DR site. And if I do edit settings here, I will see four RDM devices, two for DAG1, server and two for DAG2 server. Once that once that's done we'll go back into the AppSync server. We configure the AppSync exchange interface. Then we have to go into the service plans and configure the appropriate service plan. When AppSync is installed it installs four service plans automatically bronze, gold, silver and platinum. You will not see silver in this particular demo, but we'll be working with the Platinum service plan. So let's take a look at the Platinum service plan in detail. The plan is enabled, and I already configured this plan. It's running every 55 minutes after the hour. And then when I go to the copy, we're going to create an exchange backup type copy. There's some advanced settings that you can set here as well but we're just going to leave that at the um, default. In subscriptions, we have the two databases, MBX1 and MBX2, that we saw earlier. Here, I'm specifying that I want to take active or passive, whichever one it is, active or passive, on the Exchange 2010 DAG2 server. So once that's configured, you can see some... Uh, you can also see that we're not going to mount this uh, CRR image automatically. First we're going to create the application consistent 
bookmark and recover point and then we're going to mount it. Okay, so let's go into service plans and let's go ahead and run this platinum plan. This should only take a, a minute or so, so we'll resume once this is this is done. Okay, so it seems like that the job finished successfully. So we started this job at 6.45.30 p.m. And it finished at 6.46.05. And if, you, if we take a look at the logs here, you see VSS has succeeded and it created the bookmarks. So let's go into recover point and actually see these bookmarks. Okay, so because the um, DAG2 is the active node, I'm only going to see the application consistent images in DAG2 consistency group. So if I go to local, here's my application consistent image, DR, the same thing. And on DAG1, we're not going to see that, again, because it's not the active copy. So this is DAG2 uh, DAG CLR, this is the CDP copy, this is the CRR copy. Okay, now that we successfully created the uh, bookmark, let's go ahead and mount this. So we can go back to Application, Microsoft Exchange, DAG1, go to MBX, and I'm going to see two bookmarks, a CDP and a CRR. So I can choose which one I want to enable image, uh, which one I want to mount. So here I'm going to mount a CRR copy. Select, mount, and again you have to uh, present the CRR target lens in advance to that mount VM on the target array as RDM physical. So I'm going to verify this is my CRR bookmark, that's correct, click next. That looks good. Click next. Validate the copy. Yep, we'll validate it using sequential. That's fine. You have sequential or parallel options here. Click next. Here we're choosing the mount server, and in, in this case it's this one. Click next. I'm going to leave it the same as original path because my DR host does not have an ENL drive already mounted. So if I go to my computer, I will not see. ENL drive. If you had ENL drives being used, then you would have to choose a different option here. Uh, you notice the different options as far as recover point is concerned. We can go logged virtual access. We're going to leave it at default, which is logged access mode. We're going to leave it as read only, click next, and click finish. Okay, the job uh, successfully mounted, so let's take a look at the logs here again. We started at 6.49.05, and the mount completed at 6.49.53, so fairly quickly. Okay, now let's take a look at my computer, and we should see ENL drive. And here it is, ENL. Browse that. There's the databases. And... Here are the logs. And let's also go into recover point and take a look at the status of the consistency group. You'll notice that an image access has been enabled on the CRR copy because that's the one we mounted and this particular image was chosen by AppSync. So now I'm going into Outlook and I'm going to delete this email that I have because I would like to restore this using AppSync. So, I'm going to delete this email. Nothing in the deleted items, nothing under inbox. And now we're going to attempt to restore. So if I click on this CRR image, restore, individual item. One note, in order to restore individual items, you do need item point installed on the mount server. And you need to install that and license it. AppSync will launch item point to help with the single email restores. So we chose the right image, click next. Here's we're going to specify the credentials to the item point server. 
and I need to specify temp directory so I'll just put that under here now once I click finish app sync will launch item point it points to the database the logline and the temp directory which we specified we're going to click OK there and expand this so this is the CRA image now here's our email now we're going to connect to the target mailbox so I'm connecting directly to the exchange server at this point click OK and down at the bottom I have an inbox folder and it's empty so I would like to restore this particular email so all I need to do is drag and drop successfully copied there's my email and if I go back to Outlook I should be able to see my email again so this concludes the recover point CLR test using EMC AppSync software Thank you for your time.